So let us remember where we were. We wanted uh, to prove to have P2, and P2 says if a value is chosen, it means that a majority of acceptors has this value. Every higher proposal chosen should have that value. The, and then to achieve this, we said that we want to achieve this through the following. If V is chosen, we would like that every higher proposal accepted has the value V. And a way to achieve this is that to look to the proposers, the processes that propose values, and say, if V happens to be chosen, then every higher proposal issued should have the value V. And we already shown that if we have P to B, this will imply P to A because there is no other. When you issue a value, these are the values to be accepted. And if this is um, the values to be accepted, then also P to A implies P2. That will be every higher proposal chosen have the value V. Okay, so then let us continue. So now how we achieve P to B. So one way to achieve B to B is by having this condition, which says the following. If a proposal with a proposal number n and value v is issued, then there should be a set of majority of acceptors. So a majority set with certain properties. And what are these properties? First, one possible property is that you are allowed to issue a value v if no one in this majority set has accepted any proposal numbered less than n. So when you issue a proposal, if we know there's no proposal less than n accepted by this majority uh, set, means they are already in their initial state, they didn't accept any value, then we are allowed to um, propose the value v. Or the other alternative, if v is the value of the highest proposal among proposers less than n accepted by acceptors in S. So this is a situation where we have already proposals accepted and then when we get a majority of the value of majority of acceptors then we want to guarantee that with the value that a proposal issues, V will be the highest proposal among all proposals less than N accepted. Now, what we want to do is to prove this lemma. Prove that this property implies B to B. So, what is B to B again? In P2P, we assume a value is chosen. And we know what is P2C. So let's see how we can prove this. The proof map goes as follows. We prove the lemma by assuming P2C. And then we prove P2B. Assuming P2C means that we assume we assume that a proposal is issued with these properties and then we prove P2B which means 
that we also assume that V is chosen. And then we prove that every higher proposal issued has the value V. So we prove the lemma, we prove, we assume that uh, V is chosen, as I said, and we prove every higher proposal issued has the value V, that's what I said. And our assumption now that V to C is true and a proposal is chosen. Okay. So let us see if from this we can prove that every higher proposal issued has the value V. Yeah. That is show that by induction that every higher proposal issued has the value V. So we need to show by induction again, all proposal higher than N have the value V. So we do it, so we do induction on N. The base case is to inspect that proposal, okay, and U. We know that N V is chosen. That is the base case. We know that N N V is chosen. Therefore, this U must be equal to V because proposal numbers, the ends here, are unique. That is the induction base. In the induction step, we assume that all proposals less than m plus 1 have the value v. Okay, And then we show that the proposal m plus 1 has also the value B. B to C implies that this proposal will have a majority S where this S have no value or S has a value, the value of that uh, majority set is U is the value accepted by her proposal among all proposal less than M. We know that A cannot be true, so this cannot be true, because a, we assume that N V is accepted by a majority of overlapping uh, with, with S, so that cannot be true. So B must be true. So what is true now? is that u is the value of the highest proposal among all proposals less than m plus 1. So that is what we said here. By the induction hypothesis, which say that all proposal less than m plus 1 have a value v as chosen, then, because we are picking a majority uh, and the majority of acceptors must intersect with the majority of, of acceptors uh, of the previous proposals and therefore uh, they should intersect on a, on a value, and this value should be V. So majority of proposals intersect with the majority of N, therefore what we are going to pick there is a value V, that is a value with highest proposal number. So look again to uh, our algorithm. So how are we going to satisfy this? We want to satisfy the condition that when we issue a proposal and 
this proposal say uh, number n, we want to be sure that if a value of chosen, and that is with a proposal less than n, of course, huh, then that value will be uh, maintained. So the way to do it is to ask the acceptors to freeze their state such that the acceptor should promise not to accept any proposals less than n and then send the highest number proposal accepted with a value less than n. So from now on, the state of acceptor up to the proposal number n is frozen. So that when a proposal gets a majority of promises, so that is a majority set that we were talking about, it will pick the value V of the highest proposal number or none if no proposal is available and then it will issue this accept. So when it issues this accept, it knows that no proposal less than N has been accepted that changes the state of this majority set. So basically the promise freezes the state of the acceptors until we can issue uh, an accept uh, proposal. So once we issue an accept proposal, then if at the acceptor, if the acceptor did not accept any proposal higher than N, then it will accept this proposal, otherwise it will reject it. And basically that is the algorithm because once you get a majority of acts, then you can know that you have to decide. Oh, okay, so that is the algorithm.